I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good. Ugh! <sighs> 
much bizarre about the top. This your stuff. Buddy. I got a favor to ask. Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. Humanity's books. The world is collectively sighing right now due to your efforts, and it doesn't even know why. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic, and it's only begun. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Few books have shaped the world as profoundly as the Bible. Hmm, Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Powerful stories of virtue and resilience. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. You have just rescued the collective unconscious of the Western world. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Let's stoke it more, shall we? Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me. Hi, Aiden. I'm Thalia. So, you're the pilgrim Albert told me is helping us rebuild humanity's library. I am. Albert's a wonderful man. I only hope others will appreciate what he's trying to do. We're not in the middle of the Renaissance, you know. Few people read. What about you? What about me? Do you read? Uh, when I can. Not often. Then tell me what you think. Between the Bible and Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, which would you consider a better guide to human behavior? It depends on who you are, and what you need to get by, doesn't it? Thoughtfully answered. Seems there's more to you than meets the eye. And what meets the eye is pleasing enough. You're a breath of fresh air, Aiden. We must talk again next time you bring back books for Albert. Speaking of which, here are the locations of more books.
not a value. something to do hey so idea. there's this thing well, that's what i'm thinking you still haven't paid me back until today i thought our chances against the renegades were pretty good but now i'm not so sure Yeah, 
die alone here. Thank you. Got those hungry need to buy something eyes. I know you don't like it, but I got a favor to ask. Hey, have you seen the quartermaster anywhere? Back in the last time. What can I do with You're siding with the Huh. 
You found them! My research was spot on. Here, we have the complete works of William Shakespeare. His stories are some of the most often retold and adapted in history. So universal were his themes. His tragedies were the most popular. Hmm. Are we humans drawn to tragedy? Hmm? Something to reflect upon. The Arabian Nights. Originally, 1001 Nights. A seminal collection of stories, folk tales, and songs that span a continent over several centuries. It is a melting pot of literature. Sometimes fantastical, often violent. Not unlike life in our own city. More monumental achievements secured from destruction. <laughs> Let's keep at it. I believe Thalia already has readied a new list. Hello, Aiden. I see you've brought back a collection of Shakespeare's works for Albert. Are you familiar with Romeo and Juliet? I guess. Tell me, do you believe in love? I mean, true love. The faded love of which Shakespeare wrote. I don't. Not since I was a kid. And then I grew up. I see what you mean. But... Don't you even hold out some glimmer of hope? I can only hope to find my sister. It's all I got. Speaking to you, Aiden, has once again been a revelation. I look forward to your next visit. It's a welcome break for me. For you too, I hope. Here's a new list. Watch out for yourself. So, there's this thing. You still haven't paid me back the last. I wonder if my family's mail has finally arrived.
make sure you stop back. <coughs> developed a taste for human flesh. Kept so, hands. you help me rain her on you. More of humanity's legacy restored and protected. The Bhagavad Gita is the controversial Krishna Bible. The warrior god Krishna tells us that he is responsible for our actions. We are a part of him, extensions of his thoughts and desires. It challenges the concept of free will and personal responsibility. Karl Marx's Communist Manifesto is one of the most influential political documents of all time. I wonder what he would say about class struggles in our own day and age and unique circumstances. Thank you for these, Aiden. I'm afraid we haven't found any new noteworthy collections for you yet, but keep an open channel. I will radio you the moment we have it.
I'm ready, Driscoll. Got an assignment for me? Well, I do. But first, let me lay some carrier history on you. Okay. I'm a bit of a history buff, like. Did you know that the first documented postal system was in Egypt? Around 2400 BC? I did not. Aye. It's how the pharaohs sent out decrees, creating the network. Think of the ancient tradition you're upholding just by delivering a piece of meal. I will. I, I promise. See that you do, Hotshot. Now deliver this message. It's marked urgent. So I'm only sending you out with this one. Now don't get distracted. It'll get where it needs to go. Carrier's Guild here. I have a message. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, my. What's wrong? A client of mine is concerned about her unborn child. She's feeling some pain, so I'd better go and check on her. I'm a midwife, you see. Couldn't her husband have come to get you? Lord, no. She's in hiding from him. You see, the baby's not his. What he'd do if he found her? You can't tell a soul. You mustn't. I see. The secret's safe with me. Thank you. Now, excuse me, I, I must gather my things.
I'm finished. Well done, Hotshot. Your first delivery was a success. Did I do the Pharaoh proud? Funny. If by Pharaoh you mean me, then I. I approve. I'll come back when you're ready for more. They're not all going to be that easy. Back for more. That's the spirit! And before I send you on your next run, I have another history lesson for you. This time, I'm going to take you farther back to Mesopotamia. Like, uh, 9,500 years ago, when writing itself was invented. Mm, writing? Wow. Expressly for the sake of deliveries, no less. People used to order goods by sending out clear tokens. Each one had notches carved in them to show how many items they wanted. So I'd send you a clay token with three notches, and you'd send me three items, like uh, fish or hats. Aye, something like that. It's what started everything we do. Everything the Carrier's Guild is about. Oh, I guess we're not just messengers after all. No. Now take this box where it needs to go. It's fragile, so be careful. I have a package for you. What's my brother sent this time? Oh, <laughs> very funny, Angelo. What is it? A clock. A busted one. Yeah, I was careful. You did fine, son. He sent it busted. His little joke. I don't get it. My brother Angelo is a cynic. I'm 84. He's the baby of the family and just a year younger. So he sends a busted clock. Who needs a clock these days, especially at our age? What is time anymore? 
Do you even know what day it is, precisely? Well, not really. Right. It's just the next day after the day before, and that's how it'll go till we die. And that's funny? Okay, so Angela won't be headlining any comedy club soon, if there were any. But this old man finds him amusing. <laughs> Thank you, son. It looks like you've got another notch on your clear token, hotshot. That was an eccentric old man. Flavio? Aye. Well, he and his brother are quite a pair. Old as dirt. Probably pre-Mesopotamian. Not everyone out there is that entertaining, though. You'll see. Well, that is if you want to keep at it. Come back when you're ready for another delivery. What do you have for me this time, Professor? Professor? Ha! You're catching on. Nice one. Today is envelope day. Humanity's been using envelopes since before the Egyptians made them out of papyrus. But it was the Chinese who invented paper envelopes at the suggestion of some smart guy who realized that papyrus, silk, and other materials were too darned expensive. Maybe that's why they were called cheapo. Because that guy was a cheapo. Stands to reason. All right, Hotshot. Lesson time's over. I've got some envelopes that need to go to different places. Well, you can count on me.
I'm from the Carrier's Guild. D did our parents send you? Who is it? Shh, baby. How did you find us? That's what the Carrier's Guild does, but no one else knows. Not even whoever sent that letter. It's from your parents. And my dad, too. What did they say? To come home. That they forgive us. That we can work this out. Let's go, Mickey. I don't want to hide anymore. I want to go home. It could be a trap, baby. A, a trick to get us to come back and then separate us once and for all. Please, Mickey. I can't live like this. I miss my mom. But I love you, baby. I don't want them getting between us again. But, Mickey! I'm gonna leave you kids to it. Good luck. Letter for you, sir. I'm sure it wasn't easy to get here. Doesn't have to be easy. I just do my job. Well, I sure am thankful for you and the Carriers Guild. Here's a little something extra. Oh, that's not necessary. Nonsense. 
take it with my thanks. Welcome back, hotshot. I've got news for you. Oh, what now, Professor? You gonna tell me that because the Chinese invented paper, they invented the paper cut, too? I already figured that out. Are you gonna keep being a smart ass, or are you gonna listen? As of this delivery, you've been promoted from initiate to regular member of the Carrier's Guild. You deserve it, hotshot. Keep it up, and you'll earn another rank in no time. I have to say, Driscoll, I enjoy the work. Well, that's good to hear. Because with higher rank comes higher privileges. You now have access to the guild lockers hidden around the city. We stock them full of useful supplies, so you don't have to come back here to top up. Take this key and look for our mark. Like it or not, you're one of us now, hotshot. I do like it, Professor. Thank you. There's nothing. No order. Zip. Thank you. 